Good afternoon and good evening, streamers. We're going to Barrel Volcano in Super Mario RPG. We're going to go get that six star piece. And depending on how I feel, I may press on or I may stop. I just, I slept in today. I slept in for a good while. I've been tired because I feel like I haven't been getting good quality sleep. That's my own fault. Um, I have to work the next couple of days. And next week is all crazy. It's like I'm off one day and I work a day. I don't have like a consistent back-to-back -back days off, which sucks. But I know that I will have Christmas Day off. I'm going to be spending with family, unfortunately. And I have the day after off because I took off that day. Because I'm like, I'm going to have a damn weekend. So tonight's stream may be a little bit shorter than the past streams. But we are at Barrel Volcano. We are about 11 hours into this game. And all my characters are about to 11 to 12 levels from max level. I've been sidestepping a lot of enemies on the way here because uh, they resist physical attacks and I just don't want to deal with it. Which unfortunately looks like that is what I have to deal with here. I don't know why Peach is in the party. Why is Peach in the party? Make me mad and boom. Let me switch you out for somebody else. Thunderbolt. That works. doesn't work. A normal physical attacks work against this guy. Switch to Bowser. Bowser gets to attack first because I have him equipped with those materials that increases speed. So he hits hard and he hits fast, and that's what I like. I like him hitting hard and fast. Mario has now reached level 20. I'm gonna go with attack now. I feel like HP isn't an issue. I seriously can't unhear that this area just reminds me of um, the Zelda CDI music. I don't know why. It might be the percussion in it. It sounds like some CDI ass music. Smash Monkey. Punch Smash Monkey. I'm very particular with my new fucking $70 Pro Controller that I had to buy because my one broke. Like, I wash my hands before I touch it, I don't eat around it, and I'm always examining it to make sure that I don't have, like, any skin dandruff or anything that fell on it. Like, you know, like you can be as clean as possible. You can shower, wash your face, and have good hygiene, and still parts of your body, like, you might have a strand of hair land on the controller, you might have a flake land on the controller. It's bullshit. So bullshit. Ah, I switched to Peach. Fine. Smash Monkey's kicking my ass, dude. I got a lot of games installed on my Switch, and there's a lot of them I know I will not play again once I finish them. As much as I like to keep them installed on my Switch, uh, I'm thinking of a couple off the top of my head, like the, uh, the Gunvolt games. When I finish the Gunvolt games, there's a good chance I'll just uninstall them when I'm done with them. That doesn't mean I'll never play them again, but it's like, games I want to keep on my Switch are, one, new games that I want to play, and two... Games that I know I'm going to go back to multiple times. Not just like maybe go back to every once and now and then. I mean, multiple times. Off the top of my head, I'll tell you what games they are. Like, if I if I can't tell you off the top of my head what those games are, then they don't need to be installed in the Switch. That's basically how it is. So, the Super Mario RPG, definitely. Even though I'll finish this game, I'll want to go back and play it again. 
all of the Pokemon games. Although I'm feeling like maybe I should uninstall Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee because I have not played those in a long time. I also could revive in a full hill because he leveled up. All the Mario games, all the Zelda games. Metroid Prime Remastered. Like, those are all examples of games that I'd want to keep on my Switch. Most of them are first party titles. Oh, great. We have Dry Bones. Alright, do I have, um. Your water. Well, that's not a dry bones. That's a vomer. It's, it's, it, it looks like a dry bones, but it's not a dry bones. Okay, he did 400 damage to this guy. This dude has no defense. That's over a thousand points of damage. You know what's fair? Invulnerable enemies. That can only be killed with an item. That's fair. Is it possible to do enough damage to this enemy that the fucking game buffer overflows and crashes? a good punching bag to practice the timing and stuff. Over 2,000 damage. Over 4,000 damage. Over 5,000 damage. That's 6,000 damage. I think I really gotta throw in invulnerable enemies. Seven thousand damage. Thousand damage. Eight 
9,000 damage. Ten thousand damage. Ten thousand to nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine HP. You gotta be kidding me. Nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Stomp Pillar was terminated, because I killed its body. Guys, again. Get rid of those guys. Curious, so now you're dead. You're 12 minutes late. That's okay if you're 12 minutes late, because I'm like almost an hour late to my own stream. I'm so irresponsible. I'm a bad streamer. I'm a bad streamer. Yo, Ogre Pond, fuck the new DLC, dude. It's bullshit. Like, I, I look up what's in the new DLC, and it's like, oh, um, new Pokemon DLC, hey, let's just put, like, two Pokemon behind raid events only, and not add them into the fucking DLC. Even though, like, you can find the other two versions of that trio in it, which is really fucking stupid. No Kalos legendaries at all. For some dumb fucking reason. And, uh... In order to get the, the other legendaries in the game, all the all the remaining legendaries, you have to do missions, right? Which is, that's fine. Like, do missions, get a snack, uh, find the legendary in Paldea. That's, that's okay. Oh no, after you do, like, three or four of them, the game requires you to do multiplayer missions. So, if you don't have Switch Online, you can get fucked. And if you don't have, like, friends to play with, you can get fucked. And you, you get fucked and you pay $30 for the privilege of getting fucked. That's just great. I love it. Great game design. Pokemon's fucking dead. That is, there's no reason for that. Absolutely zero reason. I am so waiting for Pokemon Compass to come out. There's a mod called uh, Pokemon Compass. That unfucks Scarlet and Violet as far as the game design goes. Like, the game still runs like shit. They're not able to do a performance mod. But, like, you know how you play Scarlet and Violet normally and you get over leveled and you can raffle stomp everything? Yeah, um, uh, Pokemon Compass undoes that. Pokemon Compass makes it so that trainers are. They're not. It's, it's not a difficulty mod, it's not trying to make the game ungodly unfair. It just balances the game back out, so everything is a challenge. Like a normal, like if you played Red, Blue, Yellow, Gold, Silver, Crystal, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, and you remember how those trainers were, how some trainers would be like a little bit difficult, just just enough to give you a little bit of a pushback. That's kind of how the difficulty is described. And then they uh, they turn around and uh, add all the Pokemon into the game. So there's no longer version exclusives, no trade evolutions. Um, any, any like spe Anything that would require you to interact with another game is removed. So you can get all the Pokemon in the base game on one save. And all the event raids that happened that were like timed event raids, they're just baked into the mod. 
So when you're when you're in the post game and you're doing like the, you're able to see the seven star rates pop up, event rates will pop up as well, and it can be any of the event rates that have occurred. There's like two event raids where you can't catch the Pokemon, and that, and they made it like that on purpose because it uh there it's like if you um there's a particular Pokemon from Sword and Shield that's like able to fuse with like these horses, and the way the game handles that fusion is like if you have the one Pokemon and then catch another one, it like glitches the fucking game out, and then you're like if you. If you had the Ice Horse and infused Kylex with the Ice Horse and caught another Ice Horse and tried to unfuse Kylex, you can't unfuse Kylex. The game, like, throws a fit. So they made it so, like, you can only get one of each of those special horses. But that's... That's, that's a cool thing, though. It hasn't been updated for the new DLC yet. They will be doing it soon, and I hope when they do, they remove the whole multiplayer quest bullshit requirement. That, that straight up should not be a thing at all. That's just ridiculous. Two mid mushrooms. I, I maxed those. Pick me up. I can only carry six of those, ten of those, ten of those. It's so bullshit. So, I originally stated on stream yesterday that. I wanted to do a playthrough of Pokemon Scarlet. I'm gonna wait for Compass. I'm gonna wait for Pokemon Compass mod to update, and I will do a playthrough of the Pokemon Compass mod instead for Scarlet. It's for Scarlet and Violet. That is so bullshit. So. Hey, look, it's um F Zero, the three F Zero machines. Comfy fucking bed. I started playing Genshin again, but my Wi-Fi has had a heart attack and keep on shitting down, so I had to fix the wires. Yeah, it's ridiculous, man. Fucking Wi-Fi bullshit. I want to take this fucking router that we have, and I want to smash it with a hammer. Because it is such a piece of shit. Last time I streamed Mario RPG on uh, YouTube, well, it was last week. Uh, the fucking router would not connect to a single DNS address to save its life. Like, if I was already connected to a website, I'm fine, but if I... If I fucking, um... Try to load up a webpage, it wouldn't happen. And it was the fucking router taking the shit. Because then my dad rebooted the fucking router, killing my stream, unfortunately, in the process. That's why uh, one of the Mario RPG videos are just they just end abruptly without me doing my outro. And it's this fucking surfboard router we have. It, it, I don't know if it's surfboard brand, I forget what the fucking brand is. Something, but it's called surfboard. That's what it's called. Did I just get a max mushroom? Give Gino that mid. Can I cheese these by repeatedly jumping on them? Because they shake when you stand on them too long, right? Oh, you cannot cheese these. I can jump over two of them, though. Oh, here's the boss. I was not expecting the boss already. It's not even an hour in. It's like 16 minutes. I could have just continued streaming last night. And I would have gotten the boss. It's a dragon! It's a, a Sar dragon. Special. Uh. Looks out. Poison. Can we poison? Bizarre dragon. Oh, we can poison it. Oh, good. A boss that's not immune to status effects. Uh, Gino Whirl. Nice. It has water. Why is it every boss a fucking unblockable water attack now? That's something I'm noticing. That's gonna be a problem going forward. 
Who does the least amount of damage? Is it Gino or Mario? I think it's Mario. Party Energizer. Pick me up, cleansing juice, party cleanse. Dead mushroom, Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Keep that poison on this fucker for maximum DPS. Then a Geno boost. Geno boost, Bowser. I didn't time it right, so I didn't get the, the fence up. That damage is doing 104. It's doing the most amount of damage. I targeted the wrong fucking thing. Great. It should be turn number three, so... You know boost Mario. I don't know how long the boosts last. Ah. The stomach shape looked like a fruit. It does look like a fruit. Like a like a kiwi. Right, who's up? Bowser's up. I'm gonna reapply poison gas. Because it should be getting ready to wear off. It's three turns on status effects. And I'm gonna switch you out with Princess Peach. So I can start using her to heal the party. I love how you can switch characters and it's not like Pokemon. Oh, cool. Like in Pokemon, when you switch out Pokemon, you uh, you forfeit a turn. That's not the case in this game. Like I thought it would be, it's not. Zonk one or more foes. No, that won't work. Holt magic attacks and confuse well affects all enemies. If so I can switch her back out for Geno. That poison only did one point of damage. Yes, you're kidding. That's how I knew the boss was dead, because the poison damage only did one point of damage. It, the boss isn't over. It's a two-phase fight. Oh no, now it's undead. Oh wait, it's undead! It's undead. Okay, hold on. Watch this. This is gonna be funny. Uh, pure water! Never mind. Fuck me. I thought that would work. Any other time that would fucking work? Bullshit! Alright, switch you out with Peach. Special and uh, group group hug. Looks like chocolate. I, I can kind of see it looking like chocolate a little bit. Uh, how does this thing like fire? Let's find out. It's undead. Undead burn. Oh, it resists that. Great. Uh, do you resist poison? Let's find out. Probably now, right? Yeah, fuck. Okay, resist poison. Uh, Peach needs therapy. She needs to stay up because she can heal everybody. I hate the fact you can't switch Mario out. Mario is like... Oh, it gets off getting two turns? Are you serious? Okay, uh, I don't have any other... FPs. I'm gonna swap Peach out for Geno. Because we're going to pop the triple move. 
being real st uh, strategic about the game now. Doing more damage, I like it. I bet you YouTube loves that compression. Stay dead this time. He's only 50 experience points for fighting the boss, really? Only 50. Okay, I, I just want to say, look at look at the dragon statue. It's like, Durr! <laughs> That's some derpy ass dragon statues. Hey, look, there's the star. All right, stream's over. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna. It's not been like at least an hour and an hour and a half. It's only been 30 minutes. Ah, uh, you really? Dead ass! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Who the fuck is this guy? Oh, uh, we gotta fight the Axum Bros. They're the actual boss. Use that flower jar. Got jabated. Hey, Red, look down there. That's gotta be the ugliest mustache I've ever seen. Ew, gross. That guy's worse looking than that Claude Mario. That is Mario, you idiot. Listen, everyone, we gotta get this star to the blade immediately. We'll deal with Mario later. I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you. Okay, seriously, what's with the fucking CDI level music? Careful, hey, right careful, those are your old thumbs. This exact music was used, was used in Mario Party. I'm not gonna be able to get the star till I fight these guys, as I can tell it's scripted. Back to the overworld. My phone key almost fell in my hands, but cat keeps biting me. What the fuck? Where's the blade? Where's the blade? He'll be here. You sure? Relax, people. Mario's here! He's too late. Where's the blade? Shut up already! There's the blade. Finally! Oh no, you damn don't. We fight for evil. We live for disorder. We like what we do. We struggle for chaos. We are... The Axum Rangers. Power Rangers! But evil, evil Power Rangers. Do I have an item that hits everybody? Yeah, here we go. Sleepy time, bitch. Oh, fuck, they resisted. Not shit. They're all on the villains, lol. Yep, they are. Uh, Geno Boost time, Geno Boost Bowser. That's the strat. Time it right, you get attack and defense up. Now, fuck you. Status. Pink is able to heal. Pink has to die first. Green is able to do AoEs. Pink is the big threat. I don't care if it's a Geneva Convention violation, the healer has to die. 
Geno Boost Mario. Black attacks twice. Black attacks twice, red attacks once, yellow does status, pink heals, and green does AoE. Yo, red, what? My makeup's running. Then change brands. Bombs, really? Okay, pink's out. I can't target pink anymore. Switching you for Peach. I'm gonna do group hug. Get everyone healed up. Elegy, which silences. Bowser got silenced, fortunately. Yo, Red. What? I got a headache. You're totally out of shape. So, black moves twice. Red does one attack, black moves twice, yellow does status, pink heals, green does AoEs. Punch him. Bombs? Time to lose, Peach. Yep. Figures. Back to Gino. Item. Um, can I do... I can't. They have to be on the group. When they say yo red, I think of that means out there or something like that. I don't get it. Yo, Red! What? I'm hungry. Chew on your tongue. Yo, Red! What?! I broke my shades! Serves you right! When Pink says, Yo, you Red, I couldn't attack him. The reason the characters say, Oh, Red, is that's when you're knocking them out. This is probably a two-phase fight again. Enough, now I'm angry. Time to finish this. Yeah, they're gonna activate the thing in the background. Ration four, oh, here we go. Force beam engaged, maximum charge. Now, fire the breaker. Breaker beam, can't block. Party wipe? No, okay. Uh, Gino is down though. to Mallow. Oh, Peach, Snowy, Star Rain. Stoneman fells foes. Shock enemy. 
Thought Peak, Thunderbolt. Team. Be charging. Next turn is an attack. Let me get ready for it. Probably can't silence it. If they get ready for it. A middle robot looks cool. Yeah, it's a cannon. I think it was, what was that? Two turns and then it attacks. This is impossible. We are invincible. Apparently not. Can this be happening to the Axum Rangers? Let me get off the ship. Abandon ship! You win. Green Fates of Black. It's the star! I love how you collect it the first time and get fucking jabated. It's funny. Oh, rest in peace, ship. Rest in peace is more like it. There's only one star left. That's the star at Bowser's Keep. That's right, we're going back there. Six star pieces have finally been collected. Where could the last star piece be? At Bowser's Keep. Because I read ahead and I know what's next. Bowser's Keep. Wants me to go to the Nimbus Land, but I'm not going to go to the Nimbus Land just yet. I'm going to go back to, uh, Olville. Because now that I have defeated the Axum Rangers, Peach's most powerful weapon is available. Unless I've been told a lie. Gotta go over here to the treasure guy. A metal plate. Don't know what it's used for at 300 points. I'll take it. Metal plate. Peach's most powerful weapon. That's right. Age has been lacking though. She needs a little more help in the defense department. Back to Nimbus Land. hit a save point. Let me hit a save point real quick. <laughs> Gotta figure out where this last star piece is. Hi, Robert. What's up, dude? I'm playing Super Mario RPG. I just beat the Axum Rangers. And, uh, yeah, the sixth star piece. Now we gotta find where the last one is. What's in the, what's in the cage? Is there, like, a little birdie in the cage? Little birdies in the cage. Free them! Oh, there's a Mario, Peach, and Vino, and Mallow statues.
Oh, cool. The bird. Prince Mallow. We were mess with father the key, don't mention it. This is for me, take it. Got a flower jar. Oh sweet. We get another flower jar, it's gonna increase the maximum amount of FP we have. 76. I think 99 or 100 is the max. Looks like there's only space for two digits, so it's probably 99. I'm assuming we have to go talk to the king. Mom, Dad! Were you able to find the star, dear? Yeah, the Axum Rangers took it away from us, but we got it back again. That's wonderful. The star, uh, Starway can be repaired, right? I guess not. You're still missing a piece, I take it. That last star. Wait, the only other place left to look is Bowser's Keep. Yeah, we know, but there's no way to get in. Believe me, we tried, but... Yes, yes, even Mario can't jump that far. Alright, I'll let you use the... That's it, dear. You should use the royal bus. Yes, Milo, the time has come for you to take the bus. Why, now is your age. Really? Are you sure it's alright? Of course, dear. I'll order the repairman to have it fixed by the time you leave. You simply have to help Mario and the others get that last star. You bet, Mom. Come on, Mario, let's go. Hey, that's Mario's line. That's Mario's line. We gotta hop on the, the cloud bus. Get back to Bowser's Keep, because we can't get the Bowser's Keep on foot because the bridge was knocked out by... Uh, the sword guy. E e Elksor? Exor? The fuck the guy's name is? Oh boy, FPS drops. I forgot, I did not apply- I downloaded an update for Mario RPG and I did not apply it. It's like a small update to fix a number of bugs. I think- hold on, let me check real quick. Did I- maybe I did install it. Did I install it? Version 101. No, I did install it. I installed the update and it still runs like... has that micro stutter issue. Alright, time to go to Bowser's Keep, the last area of the game. Well, the second to last area. Oh my god, it's a Lakitu. It's a giant Lakitu. With a little hat. And a fake mustache. You know the final boss? Um, yeah, I know the final boss. It's it's uh, there's a hidden boss after the the final boss. I probably won't be doing the final boss tonight. I'll probably just be doing Bowser's Keep and getting up to the start and ending it there. Because then after that, there's like one other area, and then that's it. Then there's an optional boss fight you can do. Back to Bowser's Keep. Ah, the scent of boiling lava. It's so nice to be home. Smithy's gonna pay for stealing my splendid castle from me. Fight. These guys are named Terracotta, really? Bowser's scaring the terracotta. Bowser's scaring the terracotta. You better run! The party's fucked up. Hold on. Gino needs to be in the party. The terracotta won't fight us because Bowser's in the party. 
Goombas. Pro Goomba. Bye-bye. There's like no experience from this. Triple move time. Pop like balloons. Yeah, they do. Bowser is scaring the Malakoopa. Bowser is scaring the Terracotta. Bowser just makes this easier. Fight me! Forky is in Rapture. Forky has come to its senses. And now it's dead. Age up. You now just leveled up again. All right, sweet. Raising physical stats raises defense, too. Shit. We'll be doing that with Peach a little bit. If I scare the pro Goomba away, I'm not going to get the frog one. I only want you to beat them. You gotta be kidding me! We're getting max mushrooms up the ass. I don't remember this part of the castle. Run in fear. Run in fear. Run. Run, bitch. Oh, look, a green version of the fat poopers. You better run! Oh shit, there's uh, more music to Bowser's theme now. Run, bitch! Heal. You don't want to do this. Get the giant crab. Back up, you better run. It's me, Mario. This has been my squad for the entire game. Mario, Dino, Bowser. Where did, where did you... That Goomba just noped right the fuck out. Oh god damn it, it's Croco again! Hey Mario, did you remember to use the save point? Oh, oh, okay. Now you're fine, now we're cool? Rocco wants to help me now. No, my inventory has been I've been I've been I've been scammed. He's got some stolen merchandise. I don't trust this mid mushroom on hand.
I don't trust Krakow. Six doors. There are six doors. Need an explanation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the six doors, two open into action courses. You can handle a lot of action, right? Two will lead you to battle courses. You can fight, right? Two open puzzle doors. No sweat for a great puzzle solver like you, right? Okay. Watch you choose a course, there's no going back. The only way to know is behind the door is to walk through it. Just want to say you might want to use Peach because she heals and the triple attack she put up a shield. Doesn't have a shield ability. Oh, the triple attack books up a shield. I swap out Peach when I want. Door number one. Puzzle. Quiz master in his quiz time. Need an explanation? Nah, I already know. Let's go. In an hour. Wrong. Third of is a watch. Boss. He's the leader of the Axum Rangers. Red. Moville Blues. Said the moves are covered in what? Soil. How many legs does Wiggler have? Eight. The boy getting his picture taken at Marymore can't wait till, um... Skiing season. Which monster does not appear in Booster Tower? Bob Om. Chief's name's in Marymore. Court. Booster is what generation? Eight. No. What's Balom really like to turn people into? Scarecrows. Which technique does Bowser learn at level 15? Mecha Hoopa Stomp. No. What's Birdo come out of? Make shell. Too bad. Whatever. Door 2. Can't go back. Give up. Whatever. Action course. More puzzle? Wait, there's an item box up here. Putting one coins in the box, take turns removing them. The one who takes the last coin is the loser. Puzzle. The topic you ask magic buttons. When instructions, yeah, sure, why not? Tap on a button and reverse surrounding buttons. On becomes off, off becomes on. Set them all to on, can you do it? Oh, that's one of these puzzles. One of these fucking puzzles. It's plus shaped. The plus shaped puzzle. That's it. Bye. Came over. Bye. What? Ball solitaire. One instructions. Yeah, what's ball solitaire? You kick a ball, get a leapfrog in the adjacent ball, which will then disappear. Keep making balls disappear. One remains. Can't kick a ball, but. 
Oh, this is that fucking Cracker Barrel puzzle. Oh, great. Um... It's the Cracker Ball Barrel. It's the Cracker Barrel puzzle. You gotta make... Leave one piece. Great. Lovely. My favorite. Start it. From the beginning, yeah. Alright, fuck this. Fuck the puzzle ones. Combat or fucking action? Just give me the action ones, damn it. Oh, cool, you lose money. Sleepy as hell, you're gonna go take a nap. Okay, Ogre Pond, thanks for stopping by. I've been kind of sleepy myself. It was like really cold last night, and it was cold this morning. But it has not been helping. Next door. You have nine chances left. Are oh, you gonna give me chances now? You better take me back. I want that box. Got a max mushroom. chances left. Wow. Fuck is this Donkey Kong? It's Donkey Kong, really? It's Don it's Donkey Kong. I'm playing fucking Donkey Kong. Isometric wow. Donkey Kong. Got the super slap. More doors. I'm gonna have to go through all six doors. Ten tries. So I, I'm gonna have to go and do these puzzles. Great. Fantastic. Awesome. Oh, at least it puts me right back on the platform and doesn't have me do this all over again. Do my tries reset between rooms now? Yes, yes I do. Oh, hope you like Donkey Kong. 
yeah. Donkey Kong. Uh, I have to figure out how to work this ball. Oh. Oh god, the controls are reversed. Power tabs. No! Me up as in the storage box. Got max mushroom. Got rocket candy. Flower tab. The chances are carried between each other. Okay, this is a these pro these these platforms are the ones that cycle around each other. Seven chances, six chances, five chances. Slid off the platform. That's going to be a problem. That's going to be a continual problem. It's sliding off these damn platforms. The platform in this game is not very good. Really fucking janky. Give me the flower tab. I don't care. Damn it! Flower tab. I'm going for the flower tabs. Message restricted. Uh oh, you must have said a naughty word. I can't even see what the fuck you said. You think as a like a streamer I'd be able to see what you said. Okay, can I see what you said? I can't. It just says message. A message retracted. Never mind. I was like, did someone say a naughty word? But pick me up in storage box. The platforms just orbit around each other. Like, imagine they're a ball and chain, basically. I think the trick to this is just look at the shadows and gauge it by the shadows. Although the shitty part is when I slide off the goddamn platform, I land up. Dude, I landed on the fucking platform and then I slide off it. This is some Super Mario 64 slippery platform bullshit. Come on, dude! You really gonna fucking slide me off the goddamn platform I'm standing on? gonna make me do the combat challenges too. I'm hoping you just have to do two because I'm trying to avoid the combat stuff. Alright, fuck off. Fuck off of the goddamn slippery platforms. It was an emoji, it was two eyes. What the fuck, then? What is this unnecessary censorship? Re. Chances do not reset between the doors. Ah. 
I'm getting really tired of sliding off the goddamn platform. Like, it looks like I should not have fell off it, but you're too close to the edge, it just slides you off it. That's something that gets my goat in a lot of fucking platformer video games. It's fucking sliding. Like, when you land on a platform or you're, or you're walking on something that looks like you should not slide, it should be completely fucking uh, flat and you can walk on it and the game's just like, nope, fuck you, you're gonna slide anyway. Got Sonic Symbols. That's, uh, Mallow stuff. Puts noise to work for you. Combat challenges and quizzes. Do the quizzes. I think we're gonna have to do all fucking four, six of them. I already know. What do they have in them? What the Klux, Jenks, and Goomheld in uh, the Monster Time? They all like brought. Monster does not appear in Booster Tower. They rip in. Booster is what generation? 48. No. Birdo, eggshell. Couple. 30 minutes. Color, Dodo's beak, orange. Picture, can't wait until skiing. Legs as Wiggler have eight. What did Carrot Center Toe charge at? And first monster seen pipe bolt. Goomba. No. Fuck off. It has a time limit too. There's a time limit on him. Red. Red. Uh, Sensei. Jinx. Monster you see. Uh, Chompweed. Damn it. Bardo comes out of Eggshell. Famous sculptor. Garo. Might is Dinah's little brother. Password and sunken ship. Pearls. Red Essence Dew. Gives you strength. Spirit of Vich is a boss. Helped you the cliff and lands it ends. It's paratroopers. First star piece. Mushroom Kingdom. Johnny likes um juice. Fuck. Four hundred and eighty nine subscribers vary, yeah. Yeah, dude. So close to five hundred. Probably won't close off the year of five hundred, but that's fine. It's no rush. Alright, quiz time, the explanation, no. Underlings does Croco have? Four. No. Technique does he learn? Mega Koopa Stomp? No. What's the Brizo's? Um, Dumb de La? No. Dagger Sensei's Jinx? Birdo comes out. Uh, Eggshell. Getting picture taken hates. Getting his picture taken. Does not appear in Booster Tower, Jester. It's Terrapin. Uh, six. Battle Room turned people into Scarecrows. Female Beetle sells her a coin. Third star piece was found in Moleville. Chief's name at Marymore. A two. No. Eat, the, eat a dick. Supposed to be... Uh, gonna... In a sentence. Oh, okay. I was like, what? Quiz master quiz time. I already know. I'm, I'm gonna keep brute forcing it. Center Toad is in charge of the end. Monsters does not appear as the Terrapin. Color the curtains in Mario's house green. They're actually red. How long inside the chapel? 30 minutes. Red essence uh, gives you strength. Color Dodo's beak yellow. No. First star piece. Mushroom Kingdom. Carabus used to be a carrot. Peach is doing she kidnapped by Bowser. Looking at flowers. Female beetle sell for one coin. We already did this one. Fourth option in the menu screen. Special? Fuck. Hell, I don't know. It's throwing out a bunch of questions I haven't seen before. <sighs> I 
Alright. Quiz time. Forget it, I already know. I'm actually getting filtered by this. Triple move is called Healing Rainbow. How many couples in Sin waiting for? 30 minutes. Leader of Axe and Rangers is red. Mobile Blues. Moles are covered in soil. Birdo came out of an eggshell. Ranini's husband name is Romeo. Now, Berloon likes to turn people into scarecrows. Does not appear in Booster Tower or Terrapin. Color is the end of Dodo's beak. Red. Helped do the Clifton Lands and Paratroopers. Third star piece is found in Moleville. And it's more fucking puzzles and quizzes as multiples. Oh, guys. How well can you count? Give you 10 seconds, tell me the number of barrels in the room. I'm gonna like, pause the dialogue and not push A. How about that? There's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, there's 12. How many are there? Twelve. Too bad. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. There was twelve in there. That's bullshit. There were fucking twelve! We have to do the quiz over again. Forget it, I already know. Fuck it, see. Good efforts, strength. First monster in pipe vault. Lava bubble. Help do the cliff. Paratroopers. Kulex have in common. Live in Monstro Town. Famous composer. Toad Toad Ski with an F. A hey, can't wait to skiing. He hates getting his picture taken. Might is Dinah's little brother. And get me in the next section. You counted in there's twelve. There's 13. 13 wasn't an option. Like, you gotta go, go for 3D, right? There's 6 at the bottom. There's 4. And then there's the 2. So it's 6 plus 1, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Where's, where's the 13th one at, huh? Oh, it japed me. 15. It changed the barrels. Now we gotta do more. Three times one, two, three, four, five, fifteen, thirty. Fifty-two. Of course fifty-two is not an option. We just go for forty-five and fuck it. Boo, goo, bones, and kip competed in a triathlon. The triathlon included swimming, cycling, and a marathon. It's up to you to guess which place each person came in to listen well to what they have to say. I placed the same in swimming and cycling events, but two others beat me in the marathon. Found the floor place for a bike race. Ended up in the same place they did in the swimming event. Came in third for swimming and never did better in the events after that. I did goo in both my bike... And in the final rankings. It's a fucking word puzzle. I'll talk to them in order. be wrong. Uh, 
Alright, you know what? This is the part where I'm just gonna look up a guide, because fuck this shit. You have to do all fucking six of them. I swear to god. Any four can be chosen to proceed. You want to proceed, it doesn't matter much which doors you choose and which challenges you complete. Any of the four doors are allowed to progress. Alright. Well, we're not doing the puzzle ones. Fuck that. We'll do the combat ones. No, I don't want to do the fucking puzzle ones! God damn it! Let me, let me leave. Just let me leave, I don't want to do the puzzle ones. I thought door two was a combat one. All the other doors allow me to leave. I don't want to do it. What the fuck? I'd rather do the combat ones. Because Bowser can scare him off. The phone's gonna die. I thought you charged it. Also, why does your cat keep fighting you? You like bully your cat or something? Your cat's getting vengeance? Or is it like a playful bite just to get your attention? Oh, you didn't charge it. That's unfortunate. Alright, we got the level up, boys. Didn't you say your cat bites you? But you keep dropping your phone because your cat keeps biting you? Completely block bullet with shield. Today I had leftover Papa John's pizza. Papa John's has brought back the dag on um Shakaroni pizza. I love that shakaroni so much. It is so much pepperoni. So much cheese. Extra large, thin and crispy, it's great, I love it. It's like 14 duelers. Actually 16 duelers, I do not care. Forky is enraptured. He has come to a sentence. Fork. He looks like he's taking a shit while standing. It's like, Urgh! I'd really rather do the battles than do the puzzles.
squid. Pop the shooting star shot, the gauge is full. Damn it. No. Leave all these squids. Squid, uh, squid aside. Squid, squidtality. Squidtality. Oh no, not the bees. Not the bees! Once again! They're all fucking dead. So how about Twitch's policies, huh? Like yesterday, they're like, Oh, we're gonna allow softcore porn on Twitch. And then like, they found out real fast that that was a fucking mistake. And then like today, they're like, Actually, just kidding, LOL. You can't do softcore porn on our, say, on our site. Get fucked, scrub. It was supposed to be for artists, so artists could, like, draw naked figures as part of, like, drawing. Like, and you could, like, you could draw a figure that's naked that's not, like, detailed. Like, you just draw, you draw, like, the outline of, like, boobs and, and groin area, but you don't, like, add in the nipples or whatnot. And, uh, it's just so, like, people won't get banned for doing that. But, uh... You had people just straight up doing pole dances, twerking, and, like, freaking, like, taking advantage of shit to push it. And then we're just like, ah, no, this ain't gonna fly. They should have never done that to fucking begin with. I'm just like... The whole reason Twitch did this to begin with is just because there were, like, five freaking, um money makers on the website that were like doing a topless meta and uh twitch was gonna have to send them for like three days and they realized like oh shit these people are gonna lose their subs or we're gonna miss out on like 50 percent of that money so we need to like fucking do something so they just they just fucking like changed the policy so they could allow their their e girls to get away with it, and then they realized, oh fuck, no, we can't do that, because now our advertisers are gonna pull out. It's fucking funny. Twitch is a goddamn train wreck. Oh great, dry bones, yay. Yeah, please tell me I have like fucking. Enough pure water. I have I have one pure water. Oh, this fight's gonna take a goddamn hour now. Permanent sheep. Thank you. Just determined to sheep. Bye. Fucking enemies with like unlimited HP. You can only kill the dry bones with either Geno Whirl or with uh pure water. those things they hurt I need to fire the other last guys fire it everyone resist what do you mean resist oh man come on what a pain in the ass because they're only gonna take one damage from physical attacks Aren't they? Never mind, Bowser fucks him up. 
I just wasted FP for no fucking reason. Good. Good! I got lucky like three fucking times. It only counted for the first time this bullshit. It's three rooms of this shit, right? Ugh. It's the... the Mimic. I gotta fight the Mimic now. Oh, cool, it resists that. Bahamut was inside. Oh, great. I have to deal with a summon now. Game Freak ran out of ideas. They stole Gimme Gold from this fucking monster from Super Mario RPG. Oh boy, I love unblockable attacks. Fun. Great, great gameplay mechanic. Oh, great, it can heal. Fucking finally. Get blocked. Get elbowed. Get falcon punched. Got the star gun. Oh. That might be for Gino. Oh yeah. Try shooting stars. Oh boy. Number four? I swear if it's a quiz one, I'm gonna lose it. Three rooms of gauntlets. Is that it or fucking puzzles? I don't want to do puzzles. Fuck puzzles. Oh, this is gonna be easy because Bowser's gonna scare all of them. Oh, yeah, sure, now I get HP Max. He shoots, he literally shoots stars. It's funny. Hi, Goombas. Booga Booga. Bowser scary. Run, bitch. Bowser is immediately scaring them. Very good. Big guy's not smart, though. Can't get the timing down on Geno's new weapon. We're getting experience and money for this, too. Everyone's just getting leveled up. Everyone's level, anyway. Mallow's got nine levels till he hits the level cap. It's a boo! I don't think I ever fought a boo. They got the Orbsons. They can heal. Alright, so it's right when his hands become cannons. That's the time they work. I like the elbow animation, though. Because it launches fucking little tiny bullet bells out of it. Don't you go shooting shit at me. Is Nash? How does this game not get a T for teen rating? One of the party members uses guns.
Yeah, that hurts. <laughs> 100 experience points. Yeah, son. It's a plant. Piranha plant. They fight Chewies. They're called Chewy because that's what they do. They chew you. Miss? What do you mean, miss? Oh, I forget. Flying enemies have high fucking evasion. Bullshit. You better run! Cheap, cheap, really? Ish? You're throwing fish at me? Bitch, please. Fish down, baby. You win. Flawless victory. Spin mushroom. Mushroom that's spin. Take out the orbs in the middle. It feels. Oh man, double kill. Nice. Go for Gino's attack. What is going on outside? There's like a lot of hollering and shit going on. Greeper, Glum Greeper, and Greeper. Lamb's Lord, they're all undead. Ah. This is the get rid of the enemy item. Does not work on bosses, though. Because I don't feel like wailing on an enemy to hit 9,999 damage. To kill him. I don't feel like it, dude. Once again! Done. On the gauge's charge, too. Line up the next one. Lycatu. Never fought a Lycatu. They're flying, that means they have evasion. Yay. Evasion? I hate evasion. There goes my damn combo. You missed. This won't miss. Son. What's the next one? Star. Starfish. Jaw! Again? Didn't get a chance to move. Knocked them all out. Last one. It's gonna be Shaman. This is just a Shaman. Really? Six Shamans. Six Shamans. Oh no! Whatever will I do? Rain death down upon them. 
triple kill. Lucky. Only one shaman left. I think they're supposed to be black mages in Final Fantasy, actually. Double my experience, do it. Yoshi, where's Yoshi? Didn't double the experience, but I didn't lose it. Gimme. Got that drill claw. Like Bowser's item. There's no floor. Oh shit. Welcome to the point of no return. Two doors. Now what? Where's the Koopa? So this is where you went off to. This is Smithy's castle. No trespassers allowed. That's Wiesenheimer. Wiesenheimer. Can you be poisoned? Let's find out. Do 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 do. Resist. Yeah, of course. Fuck off with the game. I'll be serious with the goddamn resists, man. Fuck the damn status resistance bullshit. Why do I have status inflicting moves if every boss fucking resists it? Get drilled, bitch. That does a lot of damage. Holy shit. Back up. Punch! Oh, it's an egg. Let's go to the egg. Can I make a Yoshi? He's gonna summon a Bahamut. It's hiding behind Bahamut. Great. Today is my birthday. Well, happy birthday, Angelina. You had a great birthday. And if it's not your birthday, then happy birthday anyway. You said it was your birthday. Flame wall. Okay, AoE attacks. That's the that's what we're doing. Yeah, die. Where's a Koopa? Huh? Where am I? Bowser, hello, how have you been? I uh, made it back here somehow, but it seems like I've been brainwashed or something. I can't seem to remember anything. Have I done something wrong? Uh, don't worry about it, let's just put it behind us. It's great, we're turning it into a loyal minion like you. That looks like you've come to some new minions now. My magic can still help you. Watch this. You get Wacho Piforter. This magic treasure box will never run out of coins. Just keep on hitting it. I'll be here if you need me. Come back when you need to rejuvenate your HP and magic. This gave us an infinite coin box. This is illegal. Magic Koopa has made an illegal money printing machine. Mario's committing a crime. Left door. Rocco. Oh, that's why there's infinite monies. Hero shirt, hero prince pants, star cape, heel shell, and royal dress. Nice. It's 
see you, pal. There's a save point behind me, right? Twelve hours in. I feel like I'm going through the game faster than normal. I think it was a twelve hour game. Womp. Oh, bullet bills. Oh, no, I couldn't jump. Fuck. Why couldn't I jump? However, the fourth he's come to our senses is right in time for me to beat him. Oh my god, that's the gimmick of this room. This fucking... The flump stun lock you so you can't move. Bullshit. Great, the bullshit. I, I gotta be getting close to the end of the game because the, the game is throwing bullshit now. The shit to waste your time. Ha 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 ha! Who's laughing? Who's this dude? Samurai guy. Ah, so you're the notorious Mario. I'm impressed you made it this far. I didn't think you could. Get with this shit. Oh, feisty little fellow, are you? This is the end of the line. Now you've got to deal with me. On guard! Shy guys are holding the chandelier. Is this gonna be a repeat of the first battle of the game? Okay, Boomer. I I can't attack the shy guys holding the chandeliers. Can I poison you? Let's find out. Why am I not surprised? You know Boost Bowser right now. Gino Boost Mario. Gino Boost Gino. Defense up. Attack up, defense down. 432, okay, that hurt. No. Denied. That was probably a one hit kill move. Uh oh. It's time to use the super move. Let Bowser go first before I do it. Never mind, he's done. Arg, this is absurd! I can't be defeated by them. I won't let this happen, I won't fall in battle. Gasp, cough, hack. Having an attack, gasp. I don't need your sympathy. I'm a soldier, I am prepared to go. Take a dives! Shied, neither. 
Yeah. See you later, kids. Boomer. Oh, poor Boomer. Do not worry. A little fly ain't gonna hurt you. Alright, Mario. I'll lead you to the top. You must hurry to the appointed place. Hang on tight. And away we go. Ha! My mom will give me a Nintendo Switch. Dude, you're 24. You don't have a job? Get a job, get your own damn Nintendo Switch. Hold am I? I'm, I'm 33, dude. So much fun. You're getting the hang of it at increasing speed. Doing a little dance. Next stop, the top floor. Fasten your seatbelt and wait a sec. There are no seatbelts! That was all in the battle screen. That was all in the battle screen, wow. Right into a boss. Oh, look who it is! Sword guy. The eyes are protecting Exor. They are? Okay. Um. Hit him right in the googly eyes then. Dino boost. Mario. Dude, how old are I fucking told you? 33, man. Player can't block. Oh, we're doing this shit. Oh, that was a fair amount of damage. Oh, and the eyes count as individual entities, so they all get an attack. x Wars protection is gone. Switch to Peach. Special group hug. Dunk ball. Sealed. Of course! Get rid of the damn eyes. Switch to Gino. Use the shooting, shooting star shot. Magic retracted. Of course they did. I'm in my 30s. I'm old. I'm grandpa. Ouch, 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 ouch. Time to settle the score. Super jump. Carney kiss. Carney this. Oh, there's still a mouth. The mouth probably is what's doing spells. Ah. Help! didn't uh, resisted it, but the mouth didn't. Watch him around with stupid mouth. Yeah, look, that's funny. times. Scarecrow Bell. Nope. Fuck you, I have a resist to that. Oh, his eyes are back? Oh, cool, his eyes are back. It's gonna be like that. Sealed.
get Peach unsealed. She can heal next turn. Uh, never mind. She's just gonna get. Fuck you, game, dude. Really? Getting real sick of this shit, dude. Party climbs right now. The mouth can cast spells and has to be knocked out. Group hug. That's the whole reason I brought Peach out here. Back to Gino. Protection is gone. Bowser back. Have all these damn items, use them. Got a freebie. Get the eye. Dark star. No. Denied. Your protection is gone. Super jump. What's he doing? Uh oh. What? What do you mean victory music? We got sucked into a black hole. What do you mean victory music? What do you mean level up? What? No. Weapon world. Do you know where this leads to? It looks like Xor is the contact between the two worlds. In other words, if all this world will find Smithy. What's keeping us? Hang on. I'll enjoy this so I can get my castle back. I'm not going to be dragged along this stupid hunt. I'm going to gather my minions and rebuild my castle. And you, Mario's official member, Bowser Minions, your duty to help me with the repairs. Bowser, you're completely missing the point. I ought to rip your stuffing out. Now think about it, Bowser. Xword connects the two worlds, right? Even though we defeated Xword, there will be other weapon beasts that come through that connection. Your castle is the entrance point of your world, and sure, the weapons will all pass through your castle. Is that what you want? Um, well... More weapon things coming to take over my castle? What about my privacy? This isn't good at all. In fact, this stinks! But you can't just be pals with these nincompoops. They got an image to keep up. I've got it. No one assaults Bowser's minions and gets away of it. We got a bone to pick with a smithy guy. Come on, Mario, let's teach him a lesson right now, together. I'm so sly. Looks like we're together on this one. Let's go. I thought... Angela, I've, I've answered the question how I am multiple times. I'm not going to repeat myself. You're not even in the chat anymore. What's this last star at? Super Mario RPG Final Star. Is it in Weapon World?
Oh, no, no. Weapon World is the last area. We're in the last area. Weapon World is the final area. At the end of this, we get the last star piece. And we finish the game. Right? The final boss is Smithy, right? RPG, final boss, Smithy, right? It's Smithy. Okay, so it's final boss. Where's, where's like, the IGN guide? <laughs> IGN guide, walkthrough. Is this for the remake? Yeah, it is. Alright, let me... I'm just gonna look ahead. Seven star piece, weapon world. Big store challenge guide, we've already done that. Seven star piece, Bowser's Keep, and Weapon World Walkthrough. Seven, the final chapter of Mario's Adventures and Mario RPG Remake. Be heading to... Alright, can we stop bouncing the page to the top of the page, please? I'm trying to read something, internet. No, we can't. Fuck you. Where's my select text? It's fucking... Bounce... Alright. Is my computer doing this thing again where, like, there's a ghost input that's constantly tilt turning stuff upward? Because every time I select text and drag, the fucking screen is going up to the top. It's irritating, I hate it. Six door challenge, Bowser's keep mid boss fight, boss fight, final boss fight, weapon world, weapon world gate boss, factory bells, final boss. What's after this? There's something after this. Post game boss guide. Battery throat below leveled up. Pancello engine O23 booster. Extra fancy abundant. Dual ready Johnny. Mario Stario Jinx and Coolex 3D. My post game boss guide. Scratch your throat balloon. Post game boss of Mario RPG, he's a powered version of the same boss you fought earlier in your adventure, defeating him to get Milo's strongest weapon, the Sage Stick. Level up Punchinello. Powered up post game version of the same boss fight, you get Bowser's strongest weapon, the Wander Chomp. Engine 23 Booster. Special post game fight with Booster, he can be found on top of Booster Tower, you can warp straight from there. Get yeah, Gino's strongest weapon, the Stella 23. Alright, okay, so. Before I fight Clulex, I'm probably going to want to do all these other optional bosses, so we're getting. How many are there? Let me guess. One, two, three, four, five. There's five. Each one probably gives each character their final weapon. And then Mario Style Jinx gives us uh, a. Um. An accessory that boosts the rate that the boost gauge goes up. Extra fancy bunt. The enduring brooch, a powerful accessory. Or brooch. Dual ready Johnny. Extra shiny stone. I right, so have to fight Johnny for it. Mario Star L. Jinx is the final form of Mario Student in Monstro Town. You get the teamwork band, which increases the rate at which your action gauge builds. Cool X 3D. After stepping out of the Jinx fight, you may notice a certain door has returned. The door to Cool X, but the final fight will be much different than the last and the highest hill to climb in Mario RPG. There's two Cluexes.
there is a Kluex 3D. Okay, so after beating Mario RPG as a post-game boss, you can challenge while the Kluex 2D monster in Monster Town can be fought any time during reaching that area. The rest of the bosses need it. a cleared save. Oh, I can fight Kulex right now. You arrive at Monster Town going through Land's End region, and there's a sealed door in the back. You need a very special item over the door, requires a bit of trading. Head back to Moleville and go to Northeast area to find a mole with selling fireworks. Purchase one for him and leave the building. Look for a small mole with a pink bow hiding amongst the crates. And, uh,. They have a pretend store selling a shiny stone in exchange for fireworks. Hand over fireworks, you'll be able to claim the shiny stone. They have to do nothing. Oh boy. You're back. Welcome back. Robert, welcome back. I was just reading ahead to see what's up ahead. So we can do a, the Kulex flight, a fight right now. It's level 22. Everyone's above level 22. It says we should have the lazy shell. I don't have any of those. Where the fuck do you get those? Super Mario RPG lazy armor. Where the fuck do you get it? Laser Shell is considered Mario's best weapon so far. It comes in both weapon and armor variant. It drastically reduces defense, but it also your attack. It's hidden away in the secret location requires you completing a side quest to fly. You need to claim a seed, fertilizer, and find the Rose Town Gardener. I already have the seed. Where do you get the fertilizer? Fertilize the second half of special items you need to get the lazy shell and it's very well hidden. It's located in Nimbus Land, but can that be claimed until after you have cleared the Nimbus Castle and defeated Valentia? Restoring the castle's former glory. Headed to the far right Nimbus Land town to find a home where Krako is stealing. If you go inside, it'll dash out of the front door. From the front door of the house, move directly south along the ridge of Cloud Borders. Try walking down the right between the two cloud tops and part of the ledge. Don't correctly walk out into an invisible path leading to the shy guy gardener who watered Birdo. Now you've caught him, he'll offer you to fertilize in exchange for letting him go. Now that you've found the pieces, return to Rose Town, head up the northeast section of the town, in the middle of a new path that created leading out of town. Lead you to the house in the outskirts, you'll find a gardener who desperately seeks the perfect seed and fertilizer. Ah. Lazy shell weapon and lazy shell armor. We could do that real quick. Could be able to fast travel back here, right? Yeah, I can. We have to go to Nimbus Land. That's where we have to go. Nimbus Land. To wrap things up, is I'm at the two hour and six mark. Well, okay, to go a little longer, but. Not really. Let's see. Over this way. Rocco steals stuff. Oi! Ooh. Echo signal ring. If you equip it, it'll tell you locations of hidden treasures. Oh, really? Really? They have to be in my party? I imagine they have to be in the party. So imagine that not only tells me that there's a hidden item nearby, but exactly where it is. Thank goodness. Let me test that for a little bit. Detecting one hidden treasure nearby. Oh, thank God. This is going to make finding the hidden chest so easy.
I love that. I'm gonna wait until I get it to pop up again. Then I'll swap it to a character that's not in the party and see if it still stays active. Wearing a defense scarf. Okay, it doesn't have to be on an active party member. That's gonna be so useful. Is the other one just like let you know there was one nearby? useful. Because the other one just told you there was a hidden item, but it didn't tell you exactly where. You had to jump around blindly, and I just hated doing that. I absolutely hated doing that. Now that there's an item that straight up pings and lets you know how close or far away you are, it gives me something a little more to work with. second floor. Kidding me. That's where it's at. Well, let's leave the castle, because I don't want to be in the castle. I was just testing that ring to see how it worked, Now I know how it works. So damn useful. I can go find all the hidden treasures. There's an NPC that tells you how many hidden treasures there are in total. Now. Hidden path. Oh, oh, busted. What to do, what to do. I'll give this red to let me go, okay? Yep. Now what I gotta do is I gotta go to the map. I gotta go back to... Adpole Pond. We gotta go to the Rose Town. Internet's dying. It's great. Please stop dying. Let me finish my stream, please. Please! God damn it. Let me go back here. Do it up here with a house. Talk to you. I'm the gardener. See the huge planter? I spent many years seeking the legendary seed and fertilizer. Fill it, but I had no luck. So I could find them. Ha! <laughs> the music sped up. <laughs> hey, I haven't finished yet. I'm gonna say yeah. 
here. Oh my god. <laughs> Short attention spin. Jesus. Here, here, take the fertilizer, dude. I'll try him out right away. Plant the seed. Get with the fertilizer. Nothing's happening. Oh, there we are. Wow. It's amazing. What the hell? You think you could use a little more fertilizer, donk? <laughs> that was funny. Now, climb the vine. Back in the beanstalk style. Lazy shell. Lazy shell weapon. Alright, lazy shell. Lowers attack. Raises defense. Well, I think anyone can equip the lazy shell, right? Yeah, Peach can equip the lazy shell and raise her. Alright, you're getting the lazy shell, so you cannot die as much. And you, you're getting the lazy shell weapon. Oh, yeah. 221? Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> Be ready now, son. Alright, uh, uh Moleville is next. We need 500 coins for this map. Um, there's Moleville. Go to Moleville. There's a shop where you can buy fireworks. Who has the fireworks? Alright, how do they get the fireworks again? Fireworks! All the boost picture puzzle. Natural weapon. Times lore and sheep attack. I think it's a star egg item. Lazy shell. Perform a hundred super jumps. Travel to the northernmost house to find a mole that will be selling fireworks for 500 a pop. I'm poor? Really? I'm poor. Gotta get more coins! I'm poor! Damn it.
Oh, Jesus. The lazy shell is like a giant fucking shell. Holy shit. No coins? Really? No coins. No, no coins. Fucking bullshit. How quickly can I get back into the room with the infinite coins? Can I just go to Weapon World and go back? Like, if I did that? I feel like that would just lead me back to the overworld, though. Oh, that's just gonna lead me back to the damn overworld map. there's a place you can just jump repeatedly and get coins. A coin box that never runs out of coins. Triple damage. Tri triple digit damage. Almost going up to 300 per hit. Five hundred friggin' coins. Yeah, twenty-two. Double the experience. Why not? There's the one Goomba. Where's the other Goomba? Peach just got that level up. Goomba jumps. It actually jumps. Have to do the six doors again? Nah, fuck this. It'd be better just to grind the enemies that respawn. Look at that frog coin. How many frog coins do I have? I might have enough to get the, um,. What's it called? The double of my coins. That was in... Star Hill, right? Seaside Town? And the Elder's Place, I think? There's a place you can go. It's in the big house on the second floor. There's a frog guy. He sells cool stuff for frog coins. Right? Yeah, this guy. See ya earlier times. Run from battles. Use to start a battle over. XP booster, coin trick. That's FP use in half during battle.
Where's the coin trick? Oh, for the love of God. Mario has to equip it, doesn't it? Great, so Mario is the only one that can equip the coin trick. But I can use that to get coins quickly. Oh, wait. You can just warp to it. Never mind! Wasting my, my fucking time. Give me the safety badge. Back to Moleville. There we are. And there should be a pretend shop somewhere. Shiny stone. Pretty stone. Then go to Monstro Town. Now there's a key up here, too. Figured out how to get to it. How do you get to that key? No such thing. Now we can use the shiny stone to open that door. I'm pretty sure going in that door will start the fight, so let's not do that just yet. I'll save that for next time, because I need to pad the game out a little bit. I'll probably get, like, maybe three more streams. There will be one stream that does the final boss of the game, one will do the optional fights, then there'll be, like, uh, two more streams for optional fight. Uh, roundup and then ending up with 3D Clulex being the very last thing I do. Oh boy! It's gonna be fun. But we're at the end. We're ending Super Mario RPG really soon. It's been crazy. It's been a fun ride. It's it's a game that's staying on my Nintendo Switch. Because I will want to play it again. I'm having a real fun time with it. I could probably sit down and finish it on my own, like, in a week. It wasn't splitting it on streams and doing only progress on the streams. That's fine. That's alright. Having a good time. Okay, so I'm going to need to find out what the hell I'm going to play, uh, do a playthrough of next time. Probably going to do a playthrough of Pokemon Scarlet, but I'm going to have to wait for the Pokemon Compass mod to, uh, release because... I, why would I not do the Pokemon Compass mod? Like, with Pokemon Scarlet, in order to complete the Pokedex, I'd need to use, like, both games. The Pokemon Compass mod does the following. <clears throat> it removes trade evolution so you can evolve Pokemon without trading. Any sort of evolution that requires any type of multiplayer is removed. So, it's just normal level up, I believe. Any raid event Pokemon are permanently in the game, so their raids will just pop up 
as an event raid. Just randomly, they'll just cycle in. Um, version exclusives don't exist anymore. So it's like Pokemon Legends Arceus, where you can catch every Pokemon on one version. Um, you can catch multiple Moridon and Coridon. Uh, the uh, legendary Pokemon are going to be, like, they're all obtainable. Uh, I don't know, I, I, I'm assuming that when it's updated to um, Indigo Disc, that it'll remove the multiplayer requirement to get the snacks for legendary Pokemon, because that's fucking bullshit. And um, it also, like, you remember the two fucking um, Paradox Pokemon that were locked behind raids? That's, uh, they're just found in Area Zero now. I'm sure it's one per game, but I might be wrong. The, the, the craziest part, though, is, like, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's final DLC, you have all these legendary Pokemon, they're all fucking shiny locked, which is stupid. It's dumb, and it's dumb, and I fucking hate it. Pokemon Compass mod removes the shiny lock. Fucking finally. And that, that's fucking awesome, I like that. That's a very, very good time. So, I'll be waiting for... Like, I'm playing through Pokemon Violet on my own. In fact, I have a Pokemon Violet stream I'm gonna upload after this stream, and that'll be live tomorrow. Uh, it's just... I'll probably have a few more Pokemon Violet streams that'll pop up. I'm not doing a playthrough of it, I'm just like... Sh just sharing the stream, basically. Because uh, so there's a lot of times I just do one-off streams where I'm just playing whatever, and then there's streams like this stream, like the Mario RPG stream, where I'm actually like doing a playthrough. I did this with, um, I was gonna do this with Sea of Stars and I got bored. So I was like, I'm probably not gonna do Sea of Stars, but you know what? I have not progressed my save in Sea of Stars, so I could go back to Sea of Stars and wrap that up, but I do have to do a bit of grinding. So it's gonna, the, a couple streams might get a little bit boring. But hey, you know what? I was, I've just taken a hiatus from it, but I might come back to it. I might wrap up Sea of Stars. I'm probably about halfway through that game anyway. With that save. I was thinking of just playing through Sea of Stars on my own. Um, but uh, probably not. Fuck it. I have to think about it. Because I'm probably like halfway through Sea of Stars anyway. Blankety, blankety, blank, blank, blank. I forgot what I was going to say afterwards, so it's not important. Anyway, um, it's Friday, the end of the stream schedule. Get to make a new stream schedule. Little, little side note, like, I've been using a hashtag for my AI art called AI Zura. And when you go to Twitter and you type in AI Zura or follow a link, it doesn't show all my fucking art, which is bullshit. What's the point of the goddamn hashtag, then? I'd, I'd want to have, like... I guess I'll have to add it to a list. I'll have to put, like, a list of all of my AI art in, like, one list so you can just see it. Because I'd want to have, like, a... A place where you can just view it all without putting it on like a buru or anything. The Twitter's whole platform is stupid now it works. Anyway, if, if you like the stream, uh, be sure to drop me a subscribe on the YouTube, it's free. Also, follow me on Twitch, because I stream on Twitch two times a week. For now. I might do three times a week eventually. I'll do like three on YouTube, three on Twitch. So it'll be YouTube on any days that, that don't have a T, and... Uh, Twitch on days that have a T. So you might be thinking, oh, you know, Tuesday and Thursday are the only days that have a T. No, Saturday has a T in it too. So technically, any day that has a T in it, it's Twitch day. Um, and Sunday is the day of rest. I don't stream on Sunday. That's how it would be. But for now, no streamies on the weekends, except when I say so. Like, you know, Thanksgiving weekend, because, you know, Thanksgiving was on a fucking Wednesday or something. And it, like, got me fucked up. So. I had to, like, move everything around. Christmas is on a Monday! But that's a good thing, because it's not going to fuck with my streams at all. Because I normally don't stream Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So, now it'll be, like, uh... I think in the future it'll be, like, uh, YouTube streams on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then, uh, Twitch streams on Tuesday, Thursday, and eventually I'll do Saturdays. Because there's a T in a Saturday. I'm rambling on now! Next stream will probably be on Tuesday on Twitch with some video games. I don't know. The video games are pretty much just question marks. I don't know why I'm putting question marks on the schedule. I should just put in, like, I'm live on Twitch. 
instead of just triple question mark, unless I'm actually planning to play a game. But anyway, I'm done babbling on. Like, the fast 15 minutes is the part where people will click off the fucking video, because everyone's like, oh, they're done streaming, so I'm just gonna stop watching now. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for following. Subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss another stream. Uh, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, X, Zitter, whatever the fuck we're calling it. And I will see you on Tuesday on Twitch and Wednesday on YouTube. We'll do more Mario RPG on Wednesday on YouTube. We're going to wrap this game up by the end of the year, probably. Until then, rest well, dreamers. Stay hydrated. Don't piss the bed. And sweet dreams. <laughs>